Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. All right, on today's episode, we're going to wrap up the 1971 Chevy C10. Uh, we've gotten all the way through to the end, and Phil has the truck back. So uh, we're going to go back to the beginning so you can see what it looked like when we started out and all the way through the process. So I hope you enjoy it. So this gentleman just picked this truck up um, and I uh, just need to get a, a bunch of things done on it to make it a little more road worthy. Got the makings for a pretty darn good interior. And we'll take a little look under the under the hood of this thing. It's got 350 in it. Huh, that has a Jasper tag on it. A new Holly carburetor. I know there's a vacuum leak on this carb, so we're going to uh, be taking care of that or taking a look at that. So here we got the new steering wheel. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. I'm just pushing it, wiggling it to get it down on the spline. And then uh, go ahead and put the nut on it. Uh, I was trying to avoid just that.
These are actually used wheels. They've just been uh, sandblasted. Um, they, they look amazing. It's, it's crazy how well they clean up. All right, so came and went and cleaned up the cab corners so we could see what they look like. And this side is in really nice shape. Just a couple of super minor pinholes. Uh, you can see we're going to have to do uh, rockers and just touch the floor up. There's just a couple of little holes in the floor. And, uh, but overall, it's, it's, it's not too bad at all. So let's go take a look at the other side and see if we got that lucky on the other side. So the cab corner on the other side has a little rust in it. Um, I, I'm by northern standards, I'm sure you're going, that's nothing. We're going, oh my God, that's rusty. Now nah, I'm just kidding. A lot of times those cab corners rot out here too. So uh, that's not bad at all. And then we got just a little bit in the rockers and the floor. And then... Uh, We'll get the uh, new new stuff welded in. We got new uh, new sheet metal for all this. But overall, it's a pretty pretty solid truck. You want to just like lean it up against the wall or? Yeah, just, just yeah. wherever we're right now. I thought I'd show you guys the window channels in this truck. Uh, these are really nice. You know, there's just a little bit of surface rust there and just, you know, a little bit like right there. Uh, but if you uh, look across here, you know, these things are beautiful.
against it, you're not going to hurt it. <laughs> so I can get the blade in. Starting to put the front on, putting the box back together. Oh, it did it? Flat washers? All right, we'll do it the way the factory did it then. She's all bolt on. All right, I'm getting a bunch more of the uh, in dash stuff uh, put in up underneath the dash. That's big fun. Uh, there's a bunch of wiring up there. I kind of tucked, uh, started tucking everything up, you know, underneath there. Working on the uh, AC system on this truck. I uh, got a little more of this put together up here. A uh, bunch of it's all plumbed in now. Uh, there's still more to go, but uh, we're getting there.
maybe, I'm not sure, maybe they can move the horses under us, I'm not sure. But let's do a test lift. Good? Yep. All right, go ahead. Crazy, all this stuff is bolt together. The tailgate is all done. Back to a year ago, when oh, yeah, it looks, it looks night and day different. Yeah. I mean, you see all the glasses in it now, the trim is on this side, so it's uh, it's getting closer and closer. Looks like a truck, doesn't it? Yeah. See all the trims on and on the back. This side needs to be, uh, have some more buffing done. It's still, you can see it's still dull up there. That's the trim for the other side laying in the back. So we've about got this truck all done. I'm gonna walk around it and show you guys. This thing is just, I think it turned out really nice. We've got a few odds and ends to do on it yet, but uh, For the most part, it's put together. It's nice and tight, just like a new truck. truck is amazing. It's really looking nice. So it's just about done.
I hope you enjoyed. I, I know there was a lot of uh, episodes with this truck in it, but I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, it took a lot of work, a lot of hours to get this truck into this condition. So it's, uh, it's really a nice looking truck. I know Phil is super excited about it. Um, you know, he can't wait to get it out and drive it and enjoy it and, and all that. So anyway, this will uh, probably be just about the end of this. So I, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I know I did. And uh, hopefully Phil will get a lot of years of enjoyment out of it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode Up and Running. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back next time. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell right next to it for the notification, and click the like button. Thanks for watching. So we're going to take a look at uh, all the way back from when we got it, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. All right, on today's episode, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning and a car's driving by. There it goes, all right.